Namaste Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome back. Guess what? You're already... Oh my goodness. Before I could even finish, we got the Nine of Cups. You're already in alignment. You're already doing it. It's already done. You can just relax. Okay. I know that we got Saturn direct in Pisces on the 15th so yeah that's gonna <laughs> that's gonna set the record straight on a lot of things okay um all of the foolery all of the confusion like it's over with okay clarity is key right now making decisions and making them quick you're gonna be forced to do this you might be feeling a little bit stressed out seven nine nine of nine of swords but i did say seven so be careful gemini aquarius libra energy cancer pisces scorpio energy right be careful at this time i'm just saying i don't feel like Saturn really wants to deal with Pisces and it could be vice versa. It's like, yeah, we're having fun. Everything's great. It is great. But I got to I got that thing to do tomorrow and it's really important and I don't want to fuck up my life wasting time. OK, some of you could be really concerned with the time and you could be dealing with a Leo, a Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus. Being in the right place at the right time is so important and just really understanding astrology, numerology pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities that you're seeing you are receiving downloads you're not crazy maybe some of you might need to lay off a little bit of the drinking okay and partying too much because there is this sort of structure that's coming in and it's like i don't want I don't want you to get, you know, in your feelings and because there's a lot of cups here. So there's a lot of emotion. There's a lot. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's great. Okay. So yeah, it, it is, is definitely, I was right. It's time to get serious. It's time for real business. And there's this energy coming towards you. Maybe it's already in you. Maybe you've already tapped in. Or maybe this is just someone in your life that's going to be a help to you. Could be someone, um, a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. They're just coming in. This energy is coming in. And it's like laying down the law. Getting shit done. The games are over. Could be a masculine. Could be a feminine. I'm getting a bit of confusion here. Um, could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. And it's just time. It's freaking time. It's time to recreate, rebuild, rebrand, restructure, renew your frequency, your energy. And it's about owning your shit too. And I just feel like I'm getting the, the whole total vibe of like, you might be hanging out with people and you might be around them. And then all of a sudden it's like, you don't talk to them anymore. You're not texting them anymore. And they're like, where are you? And you're off, like, you know, traveling somewhere, creating this amazing experience. I just said traveling. Look at that. Look at this. Discovering so many new things, you know? I'm also hearing wanderlust. Just going somewhere, doing things, creating things. That's what time it is. It's time to take action a little less Listen, you could meet the love of your life at a party. I'm getting that vibe, too. I'm getting like, yeah, you can meet the love of your life at a party. But is it going to last? I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like there's so much more. There's so much more to see here. And I just said, look at that. That's the bottom of the deck. 
Are you gonna meet the love of your life? I don't know at a party. You you could. You quite possibly could if you if you had this this moment. Two people are coming through for you right now. It's just kind of like making commitments. It might not be the best idea for you right now until you let something go from the past, okay? Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Until you let something go from the past, air energy, mental, you know, just those old ways of thinking or those old ways of, of doing things. I get it. I know the world looks kind of gloom and doom sometimes and it's just like it's a hot mess but you are being guided to sort of come out of your house for some of you like literally go outside Virgo energy is coming through that's where you're going to meet the love of your life and I'm also hearing like the love of your life is around the corner so I mean <laughs> mm. If you're a homebody couch potato, you work from home and, you know, it's just time for you to get yourself acclimated to beauty and decadence because there's someone coming in. I definitely get the vibe that someone who's coming in. Oh, they're so I mean, They're so first of all, they have the gift. Of, they know how to talk. They know what to say and, and how to say it and when to say it could be dealing with someone who has mercury and cancer okay i'm just saying watch out for them also we do have yeah a new love we do i don't i don't know if this is self-love i don't know if this is you just understanding how to love someone else after you have loved yourself i mean there are so many layers to love love can literally send you through a dark night of the soul and i feel like you've gone through that capricorn you've gone through that dark night of the soul and it's just like it's about time that i have my cake and eat it too i just feel that for you so strongly your strategies are amazing and definitely with this 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 is something new. This could be a new person just inspiring you. This could just be you in general, just having a spirit of forgiveness and reconciliation. This is a really great balance between the head, the heart, the mind, and the body, right? Your physical, your emotions. I would just make sure you know if you're gonna like m make any commitments or do anything that's like solid just make sure that you you spent some time thinking about this I know this whatever new is coming in because it's really new and it, it could quite possibly feel as though it's like you know it's like love at first sight I know I know that I get that but the thing of it is it could be and it could have longevity but not if you are intoxicated fucked up you know just like doing the opposite doing what oh my god i can't believe i'm about to say this. <laughs> i'm not gonna say it because it's gonna be like how are you gonna say that about pisces but i was just gonna say you know doing some ne neptunian you know shit like just being way out there having way too much porn too much fun in foreign countries, okay? <laughs> Channeling is hilarious. Yeah, I just kind of feel like, mm, Saturn is not about that life. So with this Saturn in Pisces, just make sure that you are sober and you're able, you're more than capable of getting things done and taking care of business, but just make sure that you're in your right mind. You're not fantasizing too much. You've really read the fine print because whatever this is that's coming in, it's going, it's, it's been something, it's going to come in unexpectedly and it, it's going to stick around for a while. It's a choice, a major choice. Okay. And, um, 
yeah we got the lovers here this could be in love and romance like don't let nobody like pressure you into you know doing something that you just don't feel guided to do okay and especially when it comes to business i'm hearing that really read the fine print that's coming through so strongly yes but you know i do see you receiving your person maybe the one that you've been waiting for for a while and i do see you possibly reconciling with them and you could even be considering taking things to the next level if you see any red flags just take it you know as a mental note and don't be afraid to put things on pause if if you feel like you're just not sure about the energy at, at the moment, okay? Definitely check in to your, your thoughts. I'm just feeling like your, your thoughts really need to be grounded, okay? More Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, really strong Capricorn energy. You are being guided to, yeah, be careful about your thoughts. Be careful about... Pre making premature decisions and then thinking that you have more time to fix the problem later oh my goodness sometimes i'm channeling i'm like why why is it why is it so hard ask for help don't be afraid to ask someone for help there's gonna be someone that that comes in i'm definitely getting that there there could be some sort of just all of a sudden a blessing like just being in the right place at the right time and then you get this opportunity, but then you have to let something go for something else. So just be careful. I don't know why I keep feeling compelled to say, be careful before you sign on the dotted line, right? Allow the angels, allow your ancestors, allow that God energy that is within you and all around you to help you make the best decisions you are not alone if you have been feeling that way that is an illusion okay hmm why am i feeling guided to pull another deck just for some sort of reassurance and clarity for you really quick Capricorn your reading definitely it hits different this planetary alignment that's taking place with Saturn going direct in Pisces is intense but I am here for you always sending you super high vibes just write it down in the comments make it real I know I'm living in a simulation therefore I'm creating the best reality right for myself and others right look at this distant horizon i knew it you have this massive plan right and it might have went off course for a second but you're back on track with it do you see this anchor here this anchor is telling you to literally ground the heck out of your emotions do not lose yourself because you have something really amazing something grand and solid you know oh my goodness someone here is literally seeking you out they could be manifesting you in some sort of way they could be wanting to like invest in some of your ideas or maybe your ideas are just so different that you're gonna be yeah, signing something or working with someone that they're just going to take a huge load off. It's going to be like one day you're super stressed out and you're worried. And then the next day it's like all of your worries, all of your concerns are over. You have nothing else to worry about. Like that's kind of where you're where I feel that you're going I'm hearing something like rags to riches maybe it's an idea wow okay so there is this like this path okay 
that's leading you towards some major success, some level of like comfort. And it might seem like it's really far away, like, but there is some light at the end of the tunnel. I'm definitely seeing that for you. I'm definitely seeing all of your manifestations come to life. I'm hearing within the next six weeks, six months, for some of you, even six days, okay? That's how lucky you are. That's how optimistic you need to be during this time, okay? That's the wave. That's the vibe. Capricorn, I'll see you in your next reading.